Hi guys, welcome to my series on microneedling and derma rolling. If the series is called Microneedling and Derma Rolling, why I love it so much and why should you? This is part one of a three part series. Now, because a lot of us are at home in a quarantine situation, I wanted to give you guys some tools that you can use right now or as soon as your next shipment comes in the mail, because you got to order these things, but you can use these things at home to refresh your skin. These kinds of therapies can be great for minimizing wrinkles, for minimizing the appearance of scars. They can help with pore size, hyperpigmentation, rosacea, melasma, acne scars. Like the list is really long. This particular episode is called Derma Rolling. What is it? And why the heck should I care? In the subsequent two episodes, I will talk a little bit more about the actual treatment protocols before, during, after, uh, as well as give you some other hints and tips about these treatments. But this particular episode, if you want to call it an episode, is really about the patho pathophysiology um, and discussing the science of why these treatments are so darn cool. So in 1997, a, a, a plastic surgeon started using a tattoo gun without the ink in it to try to minimize the appearance of scars after surgical procedures. Now he wasn't the first person to start using microneedling, but he was one of the first ones to popularize this method. So it's really been just since the mid to late 1990s that we've even had microneedling and derma rolling. Uh, so, which is pretty cool because if, if you know anything about this field, you know that this is a rapidly expanding market. Like it's everywhere now, all the med spas are doing it, all the doctors are doing it. It's kind of like the cool thing. So now you guys are going to be the cool kids also. So what is it? First of all, this is a derma roller. Um, I got this one off of like some uh, very inexpensive Chinese website, which I'm not recommending, but it was very inexpensive. Uh, and basically it has these little tiny needles. Can you see those? Like super tiny needles. And as you roll it over your skin, you're basically going to have the creation of what we call micro channels. Derma rollers, you can treat pretty much any part of the body. They come in all different depths, uh, starting with about 0.13 millimeters uh, and go all the way up to two or two and a half millimeters. For most people, for home use, you're gonna be wanting to get something in the 0.25 to one millimeter range of derma roller in general. Another option for some people is the micro needling device, very similar, has needles at the end of it. So when I turn this on, it makes a lot of noise. The needles are going up and down like this, and they're creating the same kinds of channels in the skin. Now, these are typically used by estheticians and, and physicians um, because these devices can be fairly expensive, although you can probably find them on some unnamed, uh, less expensive uh, websites, that, but I can't vouch for the quality of the devices. So in general, for most of you, derma rolling is gonna be all that you need. It's gonna be amazing. So how exactly does this work? So you go over the skin, you create these little channels. It's kind of like irrigating your garden. Like you've got these little tiny channels all over your skin. What happens after that is you've created this micro injury or micro trauma. So, so your body thinks it's suffered a bigger trauma than it actually has, but your body is like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we have an injury. We got to repair it. Um, I'm not sure if it talks like that, but it probably does. So what happens is that you have the release of all these growth factors You're triggering increased blood blood flow to the area, increased blood vessel formation. You have uh, these growth factors that are triggering the fibroblasts to come into the area and to start creating more of themselves. And the fibroblasts are the cells in your skin that are going to make the collagen in the elastin. So what we're really trying to do with this is to increase your body's production, your skin's production of collagen, elastin, and hyaluronic acid. Those three things are some three of the main components of your skin. Collagen provides structure to your skin, Elastin provides the bounce back so that when you pull your face out like this, it goes back to where it was before. And hyaluronic acid is going to provide the moisture. Hyaluronic acid, each molecule of hyaluronic acid can bind a thousand times its weight in water, which is pretty awesome. So unfortunately, you make less and less of those things as you get older and you're, you start to degrade more and more of them. So when you're exposed to things like the sun um, or toxins in the environment or things like that, then you start breaking down the, um, the components in your skin that you had previously made and your body's making less of them, less and less of them as you get older. So it's really this sort of double-edged sword situation where 
you start to have drooping of skin, you start to have sagging, you start to have, you know, wrinkles and, and things like that. And that's because you don't have enough of those key components in skin. So when we're doing derma rolling, we're actually trying to trigger the production of those things. Now, does it work? In one study that I saw, after four treatments with a microneedling device spaced about a month apart, they saw a 400% increase in collagen production. So let that sink in, 400% increase in collagen production after four treatments spaced a month apart. Now it did take about six months before they saw that those increases, but that's still pretty significant for something that takes 10 to 20 minutes and leaves you with very little downtime. So I'm a fan and that's the reason why. Now, as far as how do we actually do this, I will get into that in the next video, but suffice it to say that these treatments, depending on how deep you go, can be done one to, one to two times a week, or if you're going deeper, like if you're going more like one or one and a half uh, millimeters, then you wanna do that maybe once a month. The frequency in which you can do these therapies depends very much on the depth. Um, the other thing that's great about derma rolling, aside from the fact that we are inducing collagen formation just because of the mechanical stress and the mechanical force, these little channels that you're making in the skin are a great way to get your topical serums into the deeper le levels of your skin. So when you do the derma rolling, um, you want to make sure that you're applying your favorite serums right afterwards. You have about 15 minutes before those channels close where you can put your favorite serums on top and all of a sudden they get sucked in to the deeper layers of your skin so they can become more active than if they were just put on the top of your skin. So that's the sort of 411, if you will, on derma rolling. What is it and why the heck should I care? Next video, I'm gonna talk about some of the different types of derma rollers and devices that are out there, some of the different depths. And I'm also gonna talk about my pre and post treatment protocols with you so that you know what you should be doing at home when you get your little device in the mail. And by the way, I'm not selling this device. I don't own any stock in dermaroller.com, but <laughs> um, a lot of people ask me for opinions about this, so I wanted to give those to you. All right, until next time, thank you.